Hello, welcome back. Today I am bringing you a detoxifying flow. So it will be um, lots of twisting. We'll start with some belly stuff just to get the fire burning within. And then from there, we'll do lots of like rain out of the spine, um, get a little creative with their flow. Also just help to kind of create some space in the hips as well as the hips are related to change and transformation. So um, it'll be a nice well-rounded flow, but focusing on the spine and the hips and getting you a nice detoxifying practice. If you have a block at home, go ahead and grab one. You can do this practice without the block as well though, so don't feel like you need it. If you don't have it, it's totally okay. But if you do have it, have it close by, and we'll start on our backs. And as you start on your back, let's begin in constructive rest. So the feet are gonna walk nice and wide and the knees will touch one another. Maybe the arms rest by your sides. You can turn your palms up to the sky if you need a little bit of that, you know, uplifting sensation to start. Or maybe you need some grounding. You can turn your palms down to the earth. Or perhaps you're looking for a little bit of nurturing touch, right? Just a little bit of touch in the body. You can bring the hands to the belly, the hands to the heart, or maybe one hand to the heart, one hand to the belly. And then just gently close the eyes and let's just take a few moments to arrive and land. Mm, and as you land, just take a moment to say hello to the body. Just noticing and starting to become aware of what arrived with you. Perhaps taking a gentle physical scan from the crown of the head down to the tips of the toes and just noticing what you find along the way. And I encourage you to take it slow, be easy and gentle with these first few moments because this time can be such an important time to check in and allow the body to start to give us an idea of what would feel best on our mat today and what would fill us back up. So as you settle in, I encourage you to Come from a place that is free of any kind of judgment. Come from a place that is free of any expectation and instead allow yourself to just bear witness. Becoming that observer and just observing, feeling, being aware of everything and anything that landed with you on your mat. And we'll work quite a bit with the breath today. So let's move both hands down to the navel and just start to expand the breath, right? Feel the inhale filling into the low belly. Feel the belly rise against the palms. And as you exhale, feel that gentle release, the gentle contraction of the navel, pressing out the stale air to make space for that fresh new breath that comes next. And even the breath has a lesson for us, right? This constant evolving, this constant movement and transformation. The inhale bringing with it that life giving energy, that filling up with whatever you may need. And the exhale, that gentle releasing, the surrendering, not only into the shape, but whatever sensation comes with it. And just take a few more breaths like that. And let's start to find a little bit of an extra contraction on the exhale. So as you breathe out, start to exaggerate that drawing in and up of the navel, almost like this gentle pumping of the belly, this gentle pumping to assist the release. And this is what can help us find that detoxification. So as you breathe today, Really focusing on that breath out to draw the belly in, to compress into the abdominals and also give you this little internal massage so that we can start to, you know, just release any kind of toxins, any kind of stickiness, any kind of stagnation that may be residing within the body. Good. Let's take one more nice big breath in through the nose, flow completely, and then open the mouth. Exhale. Good, next breath, and let's take a nice long body stretch, just like you're 
first waking up in the morning, the arms are long, the legs are long, you can point flex the feet. Ooh, maybe get a little yard to relax the jaw. Take a nice big breath in. As you exhale, draw the knees into the chest. Give yourself a hug. And just thank yourself for arriving to your mat, right? There are so many other things you could have chosen to do, different places you could have gone, but you're here. And now if you have your block, go ahead and grab the block. If not, no worries. You can do the same stretch without. Take the block in between the thighs, flex your feet, release the arms by your sides, palms turn up. As you flex the feet and turn the toes down towards the belly, add a gentle squeeze of the block. Good, now close your eyes. And we'll just start making some little small movements to refine the posture and to really kick into the belly. So as you squeeze your block gently, as you keep the flexion of the feet, reach out through your heels to the sky. Start to draw your outer waist down. Start to draw the belly in. A gentle, gentle kind of drawing in of the upper rib feet as well. But then bring your awareness to the shoulders. Let them relax down to the mat. The arms relax, the palms rest up to the sky. The neck is nice and soft, relaxing on the base of the skull. Back of the head's heavy on the mat. And relax your jaw, relax your cheeks, relax your eyes, relax your brow. Now notice as you keep this upper body nice and soft, you can almost create more energy in the belly, right? You can almost feel more contraction more fire beginning to burn within the navel. So as you hold this pose, can you keep all of those things? And then find your way to that nice big breath, inhaling, filling into the belly. Exhale, releasing. Extra little drawing in and up of the navel at the bottom of the breath. Good day, come more like that. And, you know, notice the little bit of shaking, right? All the auxiliary muscles are starting to kick on. One more time. Good, exhale. Now keep your block in between your thighs. Interlace your fingers beneath the base of the skull. Take a breath in, wind through the elbows, and exhale, lift the head and chest off the mat. Now keep this lift. Keep drawing down through outer waist, through upper rib cage. Take a breath in. And exhale, just baby lift of the tailbone. So just kind of like you're pressing your feet to the sky. Inhale, belly fills. Exhale, baby lift. Good, a few more like that. Exhale. Last three. Two. And one. Good, take your block in between your feet. Point the toes. Relax your head and chest back down to the mat. Squeeze the block with the feet and then start to draw a small circle with the toes. So as you start to find this circle, again, relax into the head, the neck, the shoulders. Let the palms just rest out to the sides. And then as you continue to keep the belly nice and strong and grounding into the mat, imagine you're almost like drawing a clock with the feet, right? So you're hitting every number on that clock. And then you'll kind of feel all the different fibers and all the different layers of the abdominals kick on. Keep that gentle squeeze with the feet and then reverse the direction of your circle. Oh yeah. So in order to get the most out of our twisting, you really need to find heat in the belly first. So that's what we're doing here. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Good, one more quick little movement. Reach up, grab your block. On your inhale, extend the legs, extend the arms, or you bend the knees if you need to. Exhale, release, pass that block to the feet. Inhale, get long. Exhale, pass the block. Two more. Exhale, last one. Exhale, grab that block with the hands, release it, grab the knees into the chest. Oh, a little rock side to side, very nice. Happy baby if you want one, just for a moment, keep that nice gentle sway side to side. Ah, feel that nice little bit of energy you cultivate in the belly and we'll take that with us to really find this beautiful practice of detoxification. As you're ready, you draw the knees back into the chest, give yourself a hug. You can rock and roll lengthwise or roll off to one side. As you're ready, just meet me in tabletop position. Hmm. And then as you 
you arrive, coming into those all fours, wrists beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips. Toes can be curled or uncurled. It's really just a preference thing, and if you need a little more stability, keep them curled. As you ground down through all ten fingertips, find that nice neutral spine. Your tailbone lengthens back, but the crown reaches forward. Find a breath in, and as you exhale, round into cat pose, and let's just hold for a couple of rounds of the breath. And just start to create space at the back body. What I love doing here is you can tent the palms, come onto your fingertips, and then just take a little gentle sway, a little shift forward and back. You can feel really good through that back edge of the spine. Hmm, good. And then when you're ready, you plant the palms, next breath in, drop into your first cow pose, and again, just hold and really lengthen out that front belly, draw the shoulders along the spine. As you pull the heart forward and up, feel the belly lengthen, table lifts, breathe in. Exhale, round and release for your cat pose. And let's go ahead and take a few rounds like that. Inhale, belly drops, heart pulls through, gaze lifts. Exhale, round and release, tuck the chin to the chest. And just moving through these two extremes and allowing this to also start to kind of unlock the diaphragm. You can start to expand the breath here and really just create space. And then as you're here, you know, maybe close your eyes, take a moment to drop back into that awareness. And maybe the body, you know, starts to ask for a little bit of different movement here. You can roll through the spine, make some little torso rotations. Mm. Maybe your hips need a little bit of love. You can send them back to the heels, start to circle out through the pelvis. Know that there's no right, there's no wrong here. It's just movement with breath. So feel free to explore and maybe even move in some new ways that you've never moved before and allowing yourself to just experiment. Good. Take a nice big breath in and then as you exhale, curl the toes down or facing the dog and continue to bring those little hellos with you. Pedaling out to the feet, rocking out to the waist, whatever feels good to unwind into this first down dog, a little shake at the head, baby yes, baby no. Ah, and then whenever you're ready, settling into some stillness for a moment, ground down through all 10 fingertips, feel the arms get nice and long, the shoulders draw on the spine to release into the neck a little bit more. Press your heart back. Draw the navel in, fill into that low back, and then help to lift the tailbone into the sky. As you gently press your thighs back, root your heels down. Take a big breath into the nose. Open the mouth. Exhale. Good. One more time. Take a breath in and flutter your lips. Good. I'm going to get a little heat in the shoulders before we move on. So on your inhale, just bend your elbows out to either side. Down dog push up. The crown releases down to the earth. Exhale, straighten out through your arms. Inhale, glide forward, roll forward, plank pose. Exhale, press up and back, downward facing dog. Good, two more like that. Inhale, bend the elbows out to the sides. Exhale, lengthen out through the arms. Roll forward, plank pose, inhale. Press it up and back, downward facing dog. One more time, inhale, bend elbows out to the sides. Exhale, lengthen out through the arms. Roll forward, plank pose. Exhale. Downward facing dog, good. Big breath into the nose. Lion's breast, air your tongue. Good, shift forward. Find your back to plank. Exhale, drop the knees down. Let's take a quick thread the needle. Inhale, left arm into the sky for a gentle twist. Exhale, relief, left arm underneath, right shoulder, relaxing right side of the skull down to the mat. Now here's our first little twist of the day. So if you want, keep your fingertips planted and just press down into the earth to spin the heart a little up to the sky. If you want a little bit more, reach your right hand into the sky, and then that right hand can rest on the sacrum or even walk around to the outer edge of that left hip. And then just draw your right shoulder up and back to start to open to that right side of the mat. Mm, good, take a big breath in and a deep breath out. And you'll reach your right arm into the sky. Exhale, plant the palm. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your left arm once more. And then exhale, gentle release, switching sides. Inhale, right arm into the sky. Exhale, thread it through, release all the way down. Again, maybe your fingertips stay on the mat. 
If you want to reach left arm into the sky, hand back of the sacrum, outer edge, right hip. Close your eyes, find your breath. Good, big inhale. Deep exhale. Inhale, we'll lift your left arm back into the sky. Exhale, plant the palm. Lift the chest, inhale, right arm lifts. Exhale, relax it down to the earth. Good, big breath in, downward facing dog. Exhale, exhale. Hmm, good, from here. Inhale, high onto your toes, bend your knees, and just take a nice slow tiptoe, top of the mat for a forward fold. Let's take a rag doll. Make sure your feet are hip distance. Bend the knees nice and deep. Let your belly rest on your thighs. You can just relax your palms down. Maybe they even turn up and just surrender down. Or if you want to grab the elbows and take a little gentle sway side to side, go for it. And just kind of, you know, release and relax here. The belly is soft. The spine is long. The crown is getting nice and heavy down to the earth. And before we find a few rounds of just traditional vinyasa to get a little more heat, I want to do a little bit of spinal articulation. So keep drawing the belly in, keep tucking the chin to the chest, drop your tailbone down, shift your weight back into your heels, and on your inhale, roll it up nice and slow, let the head hang heavy. As you exhale, draw the shoulders back, let the heart lead the way, roll it all the way back down. So two more like that. So you can feel every inch of the spine, inhale, roll it up. Exhale, roll it down. Good, one more time like that. Inhale, and exhale. Very nice. Halfway lift, inhale, hands to the floor or shins. Exhale, relax the head back down. And then big reverse swan dive, strong legs. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, draw the hands into the heart. Thumbs take the heat. Take a moment, allow thumbs to rest in the breastbone, bow the chin to the chest. If you would like imitation here to set intention, if you have anything you'd like to take with you, mantra, affirmation, dedication, and maybe your intention is just to get rid of some of that stickiness, right? Get rid of some of that stagnation that we may have taken on over the past few weeks as we rest in this new normal. Take a breath in. Exhale, relax the arms down. Let's just take a few rounds of this traditional sun salutation just to greet the sun. Inhale, reach into the sky. Exhale, fold from the waist. Uttanasana. Halfway length and inhale. Step back, plank pose, exhale. Let's hold this first one. So as you ground down through all 10 fingertips, make sure you know our heart isn't low, it isn't too high, but it's still right in the middle where we're getting this nice buoyancy without overextending. And the hips, same thing, right? Hips aren't too high, hips aren't too low. They're right in the middle, so the spine is nice and long. And as you reach your crown forward, send your tailbone back. Engage the legs nice and strong. Reach your heels back. Take a big breath in. Open the mouth. Exhale. And drop the knees down. Release all the way down to the belly. And let's take a few little cobra rolls. Plant the palms by the shoulders. Squeeze the elbows in. Plant down through tops of the feet. Inhale, baby lift. Exhale, release it back down. Two more like that. Just a little wave. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Breathe in. And breathe out. First round, let's press through tabletop. Inhale, downward facing dog. Exhale. Hmm. So the beautiful thing too about this down dog is it's the shape that we continue to come back to. No matter what day it is in our practice, no matter where we are in our practice, this is that one constant that we will always return to. So it's this beautiful home base, right? This time to check in, to come back to that gentle loving awareness free of judgment free of expectation but just bearing witness to what is in the now breathe it in through the nose open the mouth let it go good inhale high into the toes exhale step your right foot forward step your left foot forward halfway rise inhale release and fold exhale reverse it on up big breath in exhale draw the hands into the heart good take a full cleansing breath Exhale, relax the arms down. Let's do it again. Inhale, reach into the sky. Slow fold, breathe the entire way down. Halfway rise, inhale. Step back, plank pose. Exhale, take a full breath in. Lower all the way down as you breathe out. And then take a bigger cobra, inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale, exhale. Hmm. Close the eyes, settle back in. 
always making these small little movements just to refine the pose, ground down through fingers, shoulders pull away from ears, belly draws in to lift hips, press thighs back, press heels down, big inhale, deep exhale. Inhale, high into your toes, exhale, left foot forward, right foot forward, halfway rise, release and fold, reverse it on up, breathe in, hands to the heart, exhale, let's do it again, release the arms down, inhale, reach up, exhale, slow fold, halfway rise, step back, lower down, maybe chaturanga if you're ready, cobra, upward facing dog, breathe in, downward, facing dog, Breathe out. Hmm. Close the eyes. Drop back into that breath. Big inhale through the nose. Open the mouth. Let it all go. Good. Inhale high into your toes. Maybe this time take a little hop top of the mat. Halfway rise. Inhale. Release and fold. Exhale. Reverse it on up. Breathe in. Hands to the heart, breathe out. Good. So we'll start to set foundation for our main flow of the day, but we'll take it slow. Keep your feet hip distance for this one, then we'll come back to a different kind of chair later. As you're ready, inhale, chair pose. As you exhale, tuck that tail and draw the belly in. Shift your weight back into your heels, take a breath in, and then exhale, open up into cactus arms. Let's find a little bit more heat to begin to find that, you know, movement for our twist. Take a breath. Exhale, turn the torso to the right, keep your cactus. Inhale through neutral. Exhale, turn left. Keep the hips on line while you're doing this. Inhale, take it to the right. Inhale, take it to the left. Inhale, take it to the right. Last one, inhale, exhale. Inhale, chair pose, reach your arms long. Exhale, fold from the waist. Oops, and that's not good. Halfway rise, inhale. Step your right foot back and drop your right knee down, exhale, and then rise up into a low lunge, breathe in. So just like we did in our tabletop, right, depending on what you're looking for in your lunge, if you need a little bit more stability, keep your back toes curled. If you feel stable and you want to get a little bit more of a balanced kind of position, let the top of the foot touch down and then press down the top of the foot to stabilize into the legs. Good. Now breathe in and release your fingers, release your index finger, and then take it off the right hand side for a side stretch on the left side body. As you find your side stretch, see if you can keep that left hip dropping down. And then if you want to take a little further, right fingertips down to the earth or to your block, open up left hand side. Keep drawing the belly in to stabilize into the low back, breathe in and breathe out. On your inhale, come back into your low lunge. Exhale, hands draw into the heart. Good. Now back off your front thigh a little bit if you're deep in your lunge so we have more of this 90 degree angle. Breathe in and then as you exhale, turn the torso to the left hand side. Press your palms together and then allow the belly drawing in to find that twist. Yeah, and then if you want, reach your arms in opposite directions, right hand forward, left hand back. Depending on how your neck feels today, if you want to gaze back over towards your left palm, give it a try. Hmm, take a breath in and take a breath out. Good. Inhale, reach both arms into the sky. Exhale, half hanuman. So this first few movements are just to open up the hips. When we find our flow, we're going to skip this first little part of the movement and then we'll go with our breath. So just take a moment to, you know, lengthen up that left hamstring, open it all up, take a breath in. Take a breath out. Now let's create a little more heat before we find our main movements. Plant the palms, go back into your lunge. Curl your right toes, pick your right knee up off the mat. As you plant your palms, plant so firmly, press into the lift of the heart and draw your left heel into your belly. Inhale, down dog split, and then hold. Make sure your left leg is at hip height. So if you gaze back, you can still see your left toes. Take a breath in. Exhale, slowly draw left knee into the nose. Inhale, send your left leg up and back. Hold as you exhale. Inhale, lift the heel a little bit higher. Exhale, draw the left knee into the nose. One more time. Inhale, send it long. Hold as you exhale. Inhale, lift a little higher. This time, bend the knee, open up the hip. And then, keeping your hips square, press that left heel off to the right to really open up through left front quad. Breathe in. 
Exhale, draw your left foot forward, step it in between your palms. This time, rise up, high crescent, high lunge. Hmm. And then, just take it a moment to find that nice, strong foundation. Bring your hands to your heart. Right hip pulls forward, left hip pulls back. Legs are nice and strong, breathe in. And then exhale, retwist to the left. So you'll notice in our high crescent, high lunge, it's a lot more of a balance, right? So just take your time, keep breathing. If you want to extend your arms for a little added bonus. If you want to try and gaze back at your left palm. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Inhale, high crescent, reach up. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Mm. So first warrior of the practice is always just that moment to just, you know, check in, find that alignment. So as you sink in, allow yourself to take up space. If you're feeling a little tighter, though, maybe, you know, the stance isn't as wide. Aiming to get that left knee over the left ankle. Drop that tailbone down. Lift that heart up, but release the shoulder blades down. Keep the neck long. Maybe the gaze over your left palm. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Open up left hand side. You can go for a half bind here if that feels good in your practice. Otherwise, thread right arm down, right thigh. Deep it into that front knee. Breathe in. Exhale, windmill the arms, frame your front foot. Step back, plank pose, lower all the way down. Cobra, upward facing dog. Breathe in. Downward facing dog. Breathe out. Back to our home base. Close those eyes. Check in, notice, observe, breathe it all in. Let it all go. Inhale high onto your toes. Walk or hop top of the mat, forward folds. Halfway to length, and when you arrive, release and fold, exhale. Reverse one by bring it all the way up. Hands to the heart, exhale. Go to the other side, feet are hip distance. As you're ready, chair pose, inhale. This time, interlace the fingers behind the base of the spine or go for opposite elbows, opposite forearms. Keep tucking that tailbone down. Keep shifting right back into your heels. On your inhale, lift a little bit in the heart. Keep the tailbone tucking though. Exhale, sit a little bit deeper. Inhale, open the heart a little more. Exhale, sink a little deeper. One more time, inhale. Exhale, fold. Maybe take your hands with you just for a moment. And if you want to take a little sway side to side, open to the front chest, breathe in. Exhale, mindfully release the hands down to the mat. Halfway rise, inhale. Left foot back, left knee down. Exhale, rise up, low lunge. Back toes curled or uncurled, your choice, your body. Take a breath in, interlace your fingers, release your index finger, and then take it off the left to open up through the right side body. But keep dropping that right hip to find that nice stability in the spine. And then if you want to take a little further, depending on how flexible you're feeling today, Left fingertips can reach down towards the mat or to a block and just really open up entire right side body. Yeah, and this length can help us to find a deeper twist. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale through neutral, reach into the sky. Exhale, hands to the heart. So if you're deep in your lunge, back off the lunge a little bit. Readjust so you find this nice 90 degree angle. Draw the belly and breathe in. Twist to the right, exhale. Press your palms together to find the heart kicking out, right? To find this nice stability in the shoulders. Breathe in, breathe out. If you want to extend your arms for a little added, go for it. Maybe gaze back, right palm. Take a nice big breath in, deep big breath out. Come back through your little lunge, inhale. Have Hanuman, exhale. Yeah, lengthen out that back thigh. Draw the right toes back with you to really find this nice extension. Breathe in and breathe out. Come back into your lunge. Now plant the palms, pick up that back knee, curl back toes. So we're planting so firmly into our hands that we can squeeze our right heel into our belly. Now inhale, send it up and back, down dog split, but make sure your right leg is at hip height, just kind of slowly making our way and breathe in. Exhale, draw your right knee into your nose. Good, inhale, send it up and back, hold as you exhale. Inhale, lift a little bit higher. Exhale, draw the knee back into the nose. One more time. Inhale, send it long. Exhale, hold. Inhale, lift a little bit higher, and then bend the knee. Open up that hip. And then just press that right heel towards the left-hand side to open up right front quad. Breathe in. 
Exhale, step your right foot in between your hands and then rise up, high crescent, high lunge. Inhale to rest. Exhale, bring your hands back to your heart, but take a moment to set foundation. So now that we're in a high crescent, you have to work harder to keep the hips stable, right? Fire up those legs, take a breath, and then reach what's to the right. Hmm. Keep drawing right hip back, keep squeezing left hip forward. The inhale lengthens you through the spine. The exhale, the navel draws in to find your twist. If you want to challenge yourself, reach out through your arms. Gaze back, right palm, breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, high crescent. Warrior two, exhale. Hmm. And just sink in to that alignment that feels good in your body. Right knee over right ankle, tailbone lengthens down, crown reaches up. Surrender the shoulders down to keep that heart open. Gaze over the right palm, full breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Maybe take it with a half bind if that feels good. Otherwise, left arm reaches down, left thigh. And just again, lengthening out that right side. Breathe in, breathe out. Good, windmill all the way down. Plank pose, lower down. Your favorite vinyasa, cobra, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Settle back into the breath. Checking back in, noticing, observing how the body is already beginning to unwind. Mm, big breath in through the nose. Open the mouth. Exhale, exhale. Good. High toes. Inhale. Walk your hop top of the mat. Exhale. Halfway lengthen when you arrive. Release and fold. Exhale. And the reverse one to bring it all the way up. Hands to the heart. Exhale. Good. Let's go with the breath for a couple rounds. As you're ready, chair pose. Inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lengthen, inhale. Step your right foot back, exhale. This time rise up, high crescent, breathe in. Exhale, draw your hands to your heart. Inhale to lengthen out of the waist. Exhale to twist to the left. Invitation to lengthen out the arms, inhale. Maybe gaze back, exhale. High crescent, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Reverse your warrior, big breath in. Exhale, your favorite vinyasa. I'll meet you down or facing dog. Take a few breaths here. Always feeling free to let the breath out with the exhale. With that open mouth, with the breath releasing that way, it's a nice way to really detoxify, release any unnecessary tension, contraction, stagnation. Breathe in. Exhale. Let that exhale take it with it. Inhale, high toes. Step or walk, top of the mat, halfway lengthen, release and fold, reverse swan dive, hands to the heart, full breath in, exhale, relax your arms down, other side, chair pose, inhale, forward fold, exhale, halfway lengthen, breathe in, left foot back, breathe out, high press and inhale to rise, exhale, hands to the heart, lengthen through the spine, inhale, Twist to the right, exhale. Maybe spread the arms as you breathe in. Gaze back as you breathe out. High crescent, both arms lift, inhale. Warrior two as you exhale. Big breath into your reverse. Vinyasa, find you in downward facing dog. Mm. Come back to the breath. Settle back in. Very nice. Big inhale. Deep exhale. High toes inhale. Walk or hop, top of the mat. Exhale, halfway lengthen. Release and fold. Reverse swan dive. Hands to the heart. All right, last one, we're gonna do it faster this time. So just listen to my words, follow me, take your time. Inhale, chair pose. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway rise, inhale, stay with me, right foot back. High crescent, high lunge, inhale. Straight to open arm twist, exhale. And then on your inhale, follow this left arm down, forward, up, spin all the way to reverse. Exhale, spin all the way down. Vinyasa, maybe even one-legged if you wanna get a little fancy. Full breath in, deep breath out. 
high toes, inhale, walk or hop, top of the mat, exhale, halfway lengthen, release and fold, reverse swan dive, hands to the heart, right away, other side, chair pose, inhale, forward fold, exhale, halfway lengthen, left foot back, stay with me, high crescent, inhale, open arm, twist, exhale, follow this right arm down, forward and up, inhale to reverse, Exhale, we move all the way down. Vinyasa, one legged if you took it on the other side. Good, full breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, high into your toes. Exhale, walk or hop, top of the mat. Halfway lengthen, release and fold. Reverse it all the way up. Hands to the heart. Good, let's take a moment and uh, Malasco squat and then we'll get a little creative today. So walk your feet wide, toes out, heels in, settle down, hips down towards sitting bones. Hmm. Now, if this is a little harder for you to access, you can always grab a blanket, roll up your blanket, or even just roll up your mat a little bit and let that be under your heels. And as you settle in here, we're aiming to let the tailbone drop down to the heels and then lift up and out of the waist. So instead of your gaze being forward, let your gaze be down a little bit, like six to eight inches in front of the top of your mat, so the entire spine is lengthened. If you want a little bit more here for a moment, reach your right arm down, left arm can reach up, go for a twist, or maybe even a half or full bind to open the chest for a moment. Keep drawing your shoulders away from the ears, drop that tailbone down, find a full breath in, and a deep breath out. Go without slingshotting, slowly release, and then reach your arms forward. So first little moment to play. So right, humility is so important in our practice to laugh a little bit. We're gonna slowly shift back, draw the belly in. We're gonna meet in both pose, but just move as slowly as you can, as gracefully as you can. <laughs> draw the thighs together. The knees are bent for now. If you need a little bit of assistance, hands can rest on thighs, or hands can come to the earth behind you. No matter where you go, draw the belly in and lift up to the heart. Point the toes, flex the feet, whatever feels better in your body. For a moment, if you want to straighten the legs, maybe you reach your arms up, breathe in. Exhale, slow roll onto your back, draw the knees into your chest. Ah, give yourself a nice big hug, a little rock side to side, massage for the spine, breathe in. Exhale, plant the feet, and we're going to prepare for bridge pose with an option to take it a little bit further. So bend your elbows. So the upper arms are framing the ribcage. Bend your elbows and point your fingertips up to the sky. Stay here with the hands and then roll your hips up into your bridge and then just allow the fingertips to rest on the hip points so you can make sure they're nice and in line. Relax the jaw, you know the deal. Relax the eyes. Now, if you want to take it a little further, toe here your right foot towards center and then lift your left leg into the sky. Now the hands are here to remind the hips where they are so we keep them centered. If you want, bend the left knee, place the left ankle over the right thigh, figure four bridge. And then repress those hips up to the sky. Right thigh, right leg is working nice and hard. Keep that left foot flexed, breathe in, breathe out. Stay in your bridge, inhale, lengthen left leg. Exhale, plant left foot. Inhale, lift a little bit higher. Exhale, slow release down. Good, draw the knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. A little rock side to side. Beautiful. All right, my love. So from here, I'm gonna play one more time before we come back to our flow that we had before. So you're gonna grab onto the backs of the thighs and start to rock lengthwise. And for the first few rocks, just let it be a way to get a nice massage along the spine. And then you're gonna release your arms by your sides and you're gonna to start to get some momentum. As you start to get some momentum, we're gonna eventually meet and share. See if you can do it without your hands, feet together, legs together. Rise up. Yeah. Chair pose, inhale. Bring your hands back to your heart. And let's twist off to the left. Hook left elbow over left thigh. Now gaze down, make sure your knees are still in line, hips are still in line and then start to really turn the chest over to the left-hand side. Press your palms together. Good. Keep your twist, gaze down. Shift your weight to your left foot, and then just lift your right foot off the mat and point the right toes behind you. Ooh. Now really slowly, challenge yourself here as slow as you can. 
We're going to straighten out that right leg. Tap right toes down. Active lunge twist. Return the chest to the left. Beautiful. Squeeze those thighs. All right, full expression. It's going to be intense for just a moment. Keep your twist. Inhale, lift the chest. Oh, yeah. Take an exhale. Inhale, extend back through the arms. Full expression, high crescent twist. Left hand reaches down, right thigh. Right arm reaches up to the sky. You can even caterpillar walk left fingertips, outer edge, right thigh. And if you really want to, gaze down at your right heel. Woo, breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Reach on the arms, inhale. Hold as you exhale. High crescent, inhale. Ooh, yeah. Warrior two, exhale. Ooh, let the spine settle. Good. Reverse your warrior, inhale. Straighten your front leg as you exhale. Now really open up that left side body. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Inhale, arms parallel to the floor. Exhale, maybe shorten your stance. Triangle pose as you're ready. Inhale, reach through your left fingers. Exhale, drop in, left arm down, right arm reaches up. Uh, and just a moment to, you know, come back into that nice strong spine. Hug that left hip in and under. There's even a little baby twist here. As the right arm reaches up, you can really open up through that right chest. Take a big breath in. Deep breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, release your hands, frame your front foot, and reset in a runner's lunge. Now I want to have a little more fun one more time. So from here, plant your palms so firmly that you can squeeze your left heel in, send it up and back, down dog split. Good. Now hold here in your down dog. Draw your left knee into your belly and cross your left foot over your right knee, right thigh. So now you're like in a figure four down dog, All right? And then from here, we're going to bend our right knee, shift our chest forward, walk your hands back a little bit, shift onto your left hand, and as you shift to your left, spin your right heel down, and then reach your right arm up. So it's kind of like a side plank variation, but this is a b-boy, it's actually like a break dance move. Sit your hips down and really open up that left thigh. It should feel really nice. If you want a little more, reach your right arm forward. Nice. Stay with me, okay? Plant your right palm. Spin all the way around on your right toes and flip it into wild thing. Left toe step out. Open the chest. It should feel fantastic. Breathe in. Breathe out. High plank inhale. Maybe one legged. Lower down. Exhale. Cobra upper dog. Inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale, so good. Breathe it in. Let it go. Ah, good. High toes, inhale. Top of the mat. Exhale. Halfway to length and breathe it in. Release and fold. Breathe it out. Reverse swan dive. Greet this gorgeous day. Hands to the heart. Exhale. Good. Let's find the other side. As you're ready, Malasana squat. Top of the mat. Toes out. Heels in. Mm, really beautiful pose to release into the low back and into the pelvis. So a nice pose to revisit, especially when we're doing lots of twisting. As you drop the tailbone down, draw the hands to the heart, lift the crown up. Maybe hang here and just enjoy. It should feel very nice. Otherwise, left arm reaches down, right arm reaches up for a twist. If you want to go for a half bind, full bind, go for it. But keep those shoulders drawing from the ears. Keep that lift in the chest. Gaze up. Without slingshotting slowly, release, spread arms back up, and then reach your arms forward. One more little opportunity just to, you know, laugh at ourselves, have a little fun, draw the belly in. As slowly as you can, meet me in your boat pose. This time, peace fingers come to big toes if you want, take it wide. Plug those shoulders back in their sockets. Lift the heart, take a breath in, take a breath out. Draw the legs back together, find an inhale. Exhale, slow release onto your back. Draw the knees into your chest. <sighs> Give yourself a nice big hug, a little rock side to side. So good. Big breath in. Deep breath out. Plant the feet. Preparing for another bridge pose. Again, the upper arms rub in kind of towards the uh, rib cage. Point your fingertips up, bending at the elbows. Rise into your bridge, and then just allow the fingertips to drape across the hips, just to make sure we stay in this nice alignment. Keep tucking tailbone towards the heels. Keep drawing belly in. 
If you went for the variation on the other side, come with me here, walk your left foot in towards midline, and then stretch your right leg into the sky. Keep those hips in line, bend the right knee, cross right ankle over left thigh. Good, and then press back up. Left glute, left thigh working, belly working, inhale. Exhale, stay lifted, reach your right leg up, inhale. Exhale, plant the right foot. Inhale, lift a little bit higher. Exhale, slow release down, good, knees to chest. Hug it out. And then one more time, just to find your way back into our chair, bring your hands to your hamstrings. Start to take a rock leg points just to get a massage first along the spine. And then we're gonna get some momentum, release your arms by your sides. And really just start to get that energy moving. And whenever you're ready, without using your hands, if you're able to, feet together, legs together, chair pose, inhale. Good, hands to heart, exhale. Good, tuck that tailbone, twist off to the right. As you twist off to the right, make sure your knees are still in line, right? Open the chest to the right, press the palms together. Good, and then gaze down, shift your weight to your right foot, squeeze your thighs together, and just hug your left foot off the earth. Point it back. And then to challenge yourself, just move really slow, stretch out through that left leg, plant left toes, active lunge twist, take it back into that revolve in the chest, squeeze thighs together, draw belly in. Good, stay with me. It's gonna be intense just for a second, but it's gonna feel really good. Take the belly in, inhale, rise up, keep your twist. Hold the twist as you exhale. Inhale, spread through the arms. Full expression, right arm down, left arm up. Right hand can caterpillar walk to outer edge of left thigh, and then if you want, gaze down at your left heel. Woo, keep that breath, inhale. Exhale, good, slowly. Stretch out through the arms, inhale. Hold as you exhale. High crescent, inhale. Oh yes, warrior two. Exhale. And then the next couple of movements are just to realign the spine. Reverse your warrior, inhale. Straighten your front leg as you exhale and just really open up that entire right side. Hmm. Take a full breath in, deep breath out. Warrior, or I'm sorry, parallel the arms, inhale. Shorten your stance as you exhale. And then to reach through the arms as you breathe in. Triangle pose as you breathe out. Right arm down, left arm sweeps up. Hug that right hip in and under. Press into that right hand, right shin to really spin the chest open, gaze up. Take a full breath. One more inhale. Exhale, release and frame your front foot. Okay, let's have some more fun just for a moment. It should feel good. Plant the palms so firmly, hug right heel in, send it up and back, down dog split. Stay in your downward dog and just draw your right knee into your belly, cross right ankle over left thigh. Good, stay with me, bend your left knee, shift your chest forward, walk your hands back a little bit. Shift off the right hand and spin on that left toe to plant the left foot, reach your right arm up and then sink your hips down and back. Keep Pressing into your right hand, stabilize, and maybe you reach your left arm forward, open the chest. Good, now take your time, stay with me, plant the left palm, spin on those left toes, take it all the way to wild thing, right foot steps out, press the hips high. Oh yeah, just breathe in, breathe out. High plank, inhale, maybe one-legged, lower down, exhale. Cobra, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, so good, breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Inhale, gaze forward. Hop through, step through to find your way onto your backs. I'm going to do one more back bend here, and then we'll do some forward folds to slow everything down before our final rest. So you can do one more bridge if you want, and maybe go for a bind. Otherwise, I'm going to take you guys into a wheel for a full expression, full back bend. We'll meet in the same position, and then you can decide if you want to take it further. Heels nice and close, sitting bones. Ground down through the heels, rise up, bridge. So again, hold here. You can interlace your fingers beneath the base of the spine if you want to bind. Otherwise, bring your palms up, plant the hands, fingertips facing towards the shoulders. Squeeze your elbows in, take a breath. Exhale, press up onto your crown, and then inhale, lengthen out the arms. Yeah, now press into your heels to send your heart forward. Oh yes, breathe.
Okay, one more inhale. Exhale, tuck the chin to the chest, bend the elbows, slow roll down. Oh yes. Come back to the position we started in, feet wide, knees together, windshield wiper side to side. Whew. Big breath in, deep breath out. Now we're gonna do some forward folds. If you want to, before we do that, take one final vinyasa, you're more than welcome, knees to chest, rock and roll. Mm -hmm. Take one final vinyasa, let it be nice and slow and sweet. Good, big breath in, deep breath out. Gaze forward, hop it through, step through, find your way to that seat, extend your legs long, let's go for Pachimottanasana, seated forward bend. Pull the flesh away from the sitting bones, flex those feet, and we'll take it slow. Inhale, reach your arms into the sky. As you exhale, hinge from your waist and just fold like a quarter of the way. Inhale, lift a little bit higher through fingers and spine. Exhale, fold a little bit deeper. Take one more breath in. Exhale, release, hands to shins, to feet, and let the spine be nice and long and stacked. So maybe, you know, you're here. Try not to round, and instead, allow this fold to come from that low back. Mm -hmm. And then you can slowly start to release forward. So the belly hits the thighs first. And then if you're flexing, you can go deeper. The heart can rest down, then the head can rest down. Close the eyes and breathe. Come back to that breath, every inhale. Filling up, creating that space for the release, the surrender on the exhale. Good, one more breath in. Deep breath out. On your inhale, slow rise. With the help of the hands, bend the knees out to either side, Badrasana, butterfly, soles of feet meet. Maybe you create more of a diamond shape if you're feeling a little tight today, otherwise feel free to draw the heels closer into the same bones. Hands can rest on the shins, inhale to lift. Exhale to fold about a quarter of the way. Inhale, get a little longer. Exhale, fold a little bit deeper. One more time, breathe in. And exhale. Grabbing onto the feet if you'd like. Closing the eyes, settling in the breath. Good, big breath in, deep breath out. On your inhale, slow rise. Let's extend the legs long for a straddle out to either side. Flex the feet, plant the palms behind you. Let that be with some leverage. Inhale, press and lift. Exhale, fold a little bit. Good, inhale, lift a little bit higher. Exhale, fold a little deeper. Yep, one more time. Mm, exhale, hands can come down, maybe on the forearms if you'd like. Mm. Come back to that breath, let it guide you deeper. Good, one more inhale. Deep exhale. On your inhale, slow rise. Make sure you're at the top of the mat. Feet are long, legs are long. Flex your feet. I just wanna do a quick little internal massage before we find our final stretch. Reach your fingertips forward and we're gonna round, tuck, and slowly release down to the mat one vertebra at a time. So the sacrum hits first, then the low back, 
then the mid back, then the upper back. Good, inhale, take a long full body stretch. Exhale, draw the knees into the chest. Give yourself a big hug. Happy baby, as you're ready, grab onto outer edge of the feet, big toes, let the knees fall wide, take another little sway side to side. And then for a quick little hip release, low back release before we find our final twist, come back into your static happy baby. You might have to release your feet a little bit to find this. And as you're ready, actively press your tailbone down to the earth and then maybe pull your feet back down. Now hold that press for five, keep breathing, four, Three, maybe pull your feet a little further down, two. And one, slowly release the knees to chest. Very nice, rock and roll side to side. Let's end with a twist. If you wanna take it a little bit further, cross your left knee over your right knee. Let's lift the hips a little bit and then take the knees off to the left hand side. Open up for the right arm. If this is too much, you can always just come back to side by side. Let it be a little bit of a you know, less aggressive twist, not as intense. Close the eyes, surrender down to the earth, and take a moment to notice if the body is holding any tension, any, you know, constriction or any resistance here. Can you allow things to start to soften? Notice where the body is clenching and allow the breath to provide that sweet release as we start to find our way to that final resting place. Breathe in. And breathe out. Good, let's come back through neutral. If you cross your knees, find your opposite crossing, and then take both knees off the right. Setting up that left arm. Gaze follows as you release into the twist. Ah, and just soften, relax, let it go. No more work to be done, just rest and release. Big breath in, deep breath out. On your inhale, come back to neutral. Give those knees one more squeeze. Maybe this time tuck your chin into your chest, get nice and small. Feel free to find any final stretches. It's your practice. The best part too is you're at home, so if there's anything else you need before we find this rest, go for it. Otherwise, meet me in final shavasana. Maybe give your legs a little shake, shoulders a little shimmy, rock your hips a little bit side to side. Taking up lots of space, arms wide, legs wide, palms up to the sky, always ready to receive. Taking one final big breath in through the nose and then open the mouth. Exhale, let it all go. And as you let the breath go, let the body go. Let the mind go. Let everything go up to this point. Let go of what comes next. And allow yourself to just be.
the universe is gentle, loving, benevolent, full of gifts, full of life, and full of love. Don't worry if you feel scared or if you feel yourself closing down to life's magic. That won't last long. It won't last forever. Take a walk. Touch a tree and hug it until your fear subsides. Feel the earth under your feet. Watch a sunrise. Ask the universe to help you open up. Say it out loud and then watch what happens. Go where your heart leads, where your inner voice directs you to go. You will find yourself in the circumstances that bring you back to your heart. The universe will help you open up. It will do all it can lovingly, gently, and with care. It will teach you all you need to know, help you learn all you came here to learn. It will guide you, it will lead you, open doors and shut windows until you reach your destination. An open heart and a soul aligned with love. Slowly begin to find your way back into the present moment. Beginning by mindfully deepening the breath and allowing the breath to bring with it little life into the limbs. Small movements in fingers and toes, gentle rolling of wrists and ankles, finding any stretches you need to arrive. And as you're ready, drawing the knees into the chest, giving yourself one last big hug before slowly rolling off to the right side, finding your way to the fetal position, ready to be reborn. And as you're ready, pressing into the earth for support, find your way to a comfortable seat. Allowing the hands to meet in prayer, thumbs against the breastbone, Anjali Mudra, taking this moment to thank yourself for finding your way to your mat today. Taking a moment to come back to that intention you set at the beginning of class and taking that with you, even after you leave the mat, always allowing your light to shine for all to see. May every breath that we take and every move that we make beyond our mat benefit the greater good. And may we always hold unconditional love for all living beings but especially holding that love for ourselves. Slowly bring your prayer hands to your third eye. The light in me sees and honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you all so much for practicing with me. Hope you enjoyed. Have a beautiful day. Have a beautiful evening. I'll see you soon.